But yeah, so now we're talking about Batman. Oh, <laughs> oh Penguin Batman Part Two. We got Clayface. Oh, oh, I thought we talked about P- oh lit. I mean, I don't know if Clayface is gonna be the final villain, but the fact that he's in, first but the fact that he's involved is great. I'm interested in if Matt Reeves is gonna give us the actor that's Clayface, the Basil one. If he's gonna give us the cop that's Clayface. Or if he's going to give us the OG Clayface that's a serial killer that, like, kills people by dumping them in clay and, like, molding around their body and suffocating them. That I could see Matt Reeves doing if he wants to make it more realism. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could see it being that. And either way, I'm very interested in it. But the thing, that's not even the news for me. When I saw that Penguin trailer, I was like, oh, he's going there. Like, he is going there. That that trailer said to me, Sopranos Batman, like straight up. Right. It's like even with the title card and everything, I was like, oh, he's really doing it. Like it didn't feel like a cheap knockoff show. Like, you know, when you get these movies that are grandiose and then you get into their TV universe, it feels lesser than or cheaper. It did not feel like that. It felt like, oh, I'm still in the Batman's Gotham. This is 100% an HBO show and not a Mac show, which I think matters going forward. I'm in it, baby. I'm in it 100%. Robert Pattinson showing up maybe more than one episode. <laughs> like, that trailer told yeah, me. <laughs> like, he's showing I'm, up. I'm doing those rumors were going around and they were like, oh, you know, Batman can't be in this because of this or that. It was, was like, that's not true. Yeah, that's the... <laughs> Batman, Batman, yo, fucking Jim Gordon's gonna be in this, bro. Like, I... I'm, I'm I'm sold that everybody gonna be in this except Catwoman. Like she might not be in that. <laughs> no, no, Catwoman probably won't. But she could. She fits she, into the story. That's her sister. Like we we meet her sister, which Christina Milati looking like a goth god. I'm loving it. <laughs> like oh my gosh, that was everything I need in the trailer. He started wobbling like he's turning into the penguin slowly but surely in that series. He started wobbling. His nose started growing. You could hear it in his voice like Colin Farrell, give him the Emmy now. I'm yeah, in. Yeah, I've watched a, I recently watched Colin Farrell's True Detective season two, which he was probably the best part of. He was. Um, I think that you know, he's just coming off Banshees. Yeah, I was about to say, I watched Banshees of history and he's been killing it. I mean, he's really doing great acting. So, I mean, seeing him doing Penguin, I mean, it just makes me feel good because they're going to, it's going to be taken completely seriously. This isn't Gotham. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> this, this, is, this isn't Gotham. This isn't CW. Like, no matter what, and I, and I said this in the Discord, and I, and I, I, I bet I feel like you agree with me. No matter what, no matter if James Gunn is successful or not, Thank God we have Matt Reeves. <laughs> like, whatever whatever happens with James Gunn, like, I want James Gunn to succeed. I want that side of the universe to be great. But if it doesn't, at least we have the Matt Reeves universe. Because, my God, what he's doing is phenomenal. <laughs> yeah. No, I think Matt Reeves stuff is, like, you know, the most... The thing it's the most compelling... Ever. It's the most compelling superhero shit across the board. Like... Uh, over like Marvel is in the shitter right now. Like we haven't even talked. Yeah. Like like Star Wars is carrying Disney. By the way, like Marvel is in the shitter. People don't know what to expect with James Gunn. Fair, I think it's gonna be good, but fair. Um, you got. You're talking about Guardians. I think Guardians gonna be big. Yeah, I think Guardians is gonna be good too. But like all that other Marvel shit is in the sh- is in the fucking trash. Um, like all this shit is going on. Meanwhile, Matt Reeves is making the most people talking about superhero fatigue, saying, "Oh, video game content's coming take over." Shut up, Matt Reeves is killing the fucking game. Oh yeah, and then also Marvel MCU is gonna get stomped by Sony again, and when Spider Verse comes out, it's, you know, yeah, Spider Verse looks great like, too. So yeah, it's it's not looking good for them, but I mean, things are looking up for DC. We've gotten through. Well, we, we have to get one through one more Aquaman. Oh, uh, that I heard the Aquaman right. movie's horrible. <laughs> like, 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 I might not even go watch it. Yeah. I heard it's horrible. I probably Un- won't either. Unwatchable. Like, that's why Jason Momoa is running to Lobo. Like, he's not even he's sprinting. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess the only thing I'm I guess so want to watch is Flash. Oh yeah, that's the only. Oh yeah, that's the only one we got to get through. Yeah, solid. Yeah. Oh, and Blue Beetle, uh, which we yeah. saw the trailer. I didn't like it. You didn't, li- I didn't like it. What? <laughs> you didn't like it? What? What you didn't like about it? T- talk to me. Talk to me. 
Uh, I'm just like I'm getting worried about uh, the way that that's being shot and the way the way that the tone that's taking. And you know, whenever George Lopez shows up in something, I always feel like it's you know just. A, well, it's not meant for like Blue Beetle's supposed joke. to be for teens. I mean, uh, like, okay, I'm gonna say this. I at, at least James Gunn, when he's talked about these films, he's been honest. Like Shazam, he was like, "Oh, it's cool." <laughs> like he didn't, he didn't. He, Flash, he said it's the best superhero movie he's seen in forever. With Blue Beetle, he says it is great, and I'm glad to have it part of the DCU. I'm. I, it needs to be. So for him to say that, I think it's gonna be good. I just don't know if it's gonna be. You know, for for us who want like you know a little darker superhero stuff, but I feel like this is DC's version of like Spider Man, but like not as not Spider Man has more of a serious tone. But like I don't know, I think it's gonna be like Homecoming, like Homecoming Spider Man. I'm just worried about it. That's fair. I liked when he pulled out that sword though; it was badass. I was rocking with that. So we'll see how that goes. And when the thing went on his body, it was all like, I was like, oh, they stayed true to the comics. Like, it was like horrifying when the reach came on. Yeah. There's there's parts of that that you, I I understand the George Lopez thing, but I'm going to say this. There's parts of that that was just like, all right, they know what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, I'm just always worried that they're going to turn it into Spy Kids or something. It always just—it just feels like it just feels like. <laughs> no, I see what you're saying. I definitely see what you're saying. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen though. Um, so I'm stuck with DC. We got Creature Commandos. Cats. Hype. We called it. <laughs> Literally, Time right? Down, Weasel, Frank, Frank Grillo, with Rick Flag Senior, Maria Bakalova, Princess Liana. Uh, Idria Barma, The Bride, Zoe Zhao, Nina Mazursky, Alan Tudyk, Dr. Phosphorus, David Harbour, Eric Frankenstein, Sean Gunn as G.I. Robot, and Stephen G. as Economist. The biggest name is who's fucking... Going, who's going to be the leader instead of Waller. Oh, nice. The biggest name The biggest name to me is David Harbour's Frankenstein. That's dope. <laughs> yeah. It's a good cast. Harbour said, fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> Bye, Marvel. <laughs> and when people who, you know, may not remember... That these are all people who are going to voice a character. Oh, yeah, these are the live action. Also, yeah. going to be the live action characters as well. I'm just proud of us uh, when Frank Grillo spilled the beans and was on IG and was like, oh, yeah, I'm joining DC. We were like, oh, this is Rick Flag Sr. <laughs> easy, <laughs> easy peasy limit. Like, he, how, who else would he have been? Like, I saw people trying to say, oh, he's Deathstroke. He's, I was like, bro. J- James Gunn said that the first thing he was casting was Creature Commandos, and if an, if a fucking actor knows who he is already, it's got to be Rick Flag Senior. There was plus, no one else. Plus, Frank Grillo. Frank Grillo is not the casting for Deathstroke in this era of DC. He would have been cast as Deathstroke in Titans. Yeah, yeah facts. <laughs> facts. No, one hundred percent, or even CW. It would have been like, oh wow, they got a big name, Frank Grillo. <laughs> No disrespect, Frank. We love you, brother. <laughs> You're a good Rick Flag yeah, senior. I mean, like, we talked. We talked really good stuff about his uh, his Hulu movie. Facts. People didn't Boston. fuck with it, but we were. We, yeah, we're Frank Grillo stands over here, and I think he Frank. I think Rick Flag senior is perfect for him. Like, I'm excited for this. Um. So, last bit of DC Peacemaker season two is going to release after Superman because we haven't announced yeah. this on this podcast. But James Gunn will direct Superman, which we all. Need. Yeah, and Waller's gonna come out first. Mm-hmm. Waller's gonna come out before Peacemaker season two, too. All you people out there, the, the kid Asher or whatever to play Shazam is not going to be Superman. <laughs> Fuck no, bro. <laughs> James Gunn's stop. casting a thirty year old. Y'all need to stop it. Like I'm tired. Ty- like all of you all who who are casting seventeen, eighteen, and between like twenty two year olds, James Gunn is casting someone that's between the ages of twenty six and thirty five. That's just what it's gonna be. Yeah, and that's also that's probably the age of also whoever this Dick Grayson is going to be too. So get get over it. True facts, 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 I'm facts. Gonna be, gonna be We're going to get a young Damien uh, though. Yeah, but he's too old for that. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, but I'm excited about the the titles that have leaked, which I don't know if you saw Animal Man, the Fantastic. I mean, the Terrific's, uh, Mister Terrific. Um, what was the? Uh, <laughs> 
there was another one that that was that's part of ch- phase one. But the Terrifics and Mister Terrific in phase one, fuck yeah, baby, that's a badass move. Same thing with Animal Man, that's a badass move by James Gunn. I don't think some of those will be movies. Like Animal Man, I think will be a TV show. I think Mister Terrific will be a TV show, but the Terrifics will be a movie. Yeah. Uh, all I'm saying is Marvel better hope that Fantastic Four hits because if it doesn't, the Terrifics are going to just be like that because the Terrifics are great. Yeah, like they are. 